Are you brokenhearted, frustrated, looking for a new direction? Then you are in the right place. Inspirational Moment is a show that uplifts the human spirit and seeks to set the captives free by breaking the barriers of your self-doubt. Host Dr. Daryl Green is an acclaimed columnist and lecturer, speaks to the next generation of leaders in our world. Here's your host, Dr. Daryl Green. Strategic leadership toward sustainability. Why do a show on strategic leadership towards sustainability? There are over 15 million individuals unemployed in America. September 11th showed us that we were prone to attacks across the globe. The environment is, was struggling. Gas prices and energy prices keep soaring. We need a different type of leader. During this series, we will interview industry leaders from various sectors, the government, the business sector, to learn tips and ideas to better prepare us for competing in the future. We hope that you enjoyed, you hope you get in sight, and we'll see That's you green. in a few minutes. Hey, what's going on? What, what you doing friend? here? How Hello. you doing? It's been a long time since LME days. Yeah, I'm uh, just here trying to get my head together. Just came from work. <laughs> Good luck with that. And uh, work can be stressful, <laughs> so I was just trying to uh, get myself together and uh, try to prepare for a class I got coming up. What have you been working on then? Well, I had been talking to Dr. Dillon. I'm working on a class called Strategic Leadership Towards Sustainability. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just trying to get it trying to get it right because I'm dealing with some smart, you know, LMU has some very smart students like yourself. And so I try to engage them, trying to do a maybe do a, a series, interviewing yeah. companies. Mm -hmm. I had I started putting together these these questions. Questions. Brandy. Yes. Since you're here, <laughs> I would love for you to test it out on me. I would love to get, see what's on your mind lately. Excellent. You know, fill me out. Pretend, pretend that you Barbara Walters or Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> the next Oprah. Okay. And uh, just let's start asking me some questions, and I, and I get a feel, and let's see what we can do. Okay. And, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Okay, so your first question is, discuss your new video series, Strategic Leadership Towards Sustainability. What's that about? That's wonderful. My new video series is For the Times. It's called Strategic Leadership Towards Sustainability. Mm -hmm. Back several months ago, Dr. Michael Dillon, mm -hmm. he's the LMU Chairman of the MBA Program, uh, asked me to come up with an idea for a, a course. And I thought about, I did my little Google search, you know, I'm a Google guy, yes, so I did a Google search, mm -hmm. and I found a master's program in SWEET called Strategic Leaders to Shift Towards Sustainability. And it's uh, the Black King Institute of Technology. And I just thought it was such timely, timely information as we look at 15 million people unemployed. I know you probably know somebody that's unemployed. Mm -hmm. We look, you know, we, we enjoy Tennessee and all the natural resources, but uh, we can tell that they're uh, depleted. Mm -hmm. we, can, we know that there's a, a lot of terrorism that's going on and uh, how do we maintain uh, safety and security. So I felt there's a need to put together something to help the next generation of leaders like yourself <laughs> to, uh, to cope with what we call disruptive change. So that's really what the course is all about, is, is preparing the uh, next generation of leaders uh, for the uh, obstacles that lie ahead in the future. Well, what's your definition of strategic leadership? Okay, <laughs> that's a harder question. Mm -hmm. Strategic, uh, as we know, we start talking about leadership, mm -hmm. and I got a my doctorate degree is in uh, global leadership. Leadership is the ability to influence others for a certain mission objective. Mm -hmm. When we start talking about a strategy, uh, we're, we're talking about how do you engage the future? Mm -hmm. How do you plan long term? So 
in the 21st century now, manager challenge is what we call a term we call duality. Mm -hmm. Is how do you how do you live for the day and live for tomorrow? How do you manage your short-term objectives with your long-term mission objectives? Mm -hmm. And it goes to what we call duality. And, 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 and it fits in what we call strategic leadership towards sustainability. So that's what it's all about, linking those things together strategically. Mm -hmm. And we know that, again, change is rapid, mm -hmm. change is constant, that we need a different type of leader in America. Yes. Across the world, we need that mm -hmm. special type of leader. Mm -hmm. So that's what, what strategic leadership is all about. What's some good examples of good and bad leadership then? Okay, that, that's a great question, uh, too. Uh, People don't like to talk about bad leadership. There's a an, an expert. Her name is Barbara Killerman. Uh, defines a bad leader relates to being ineffective and also being unethical. Mm -hmm. And as we look at what's going on at uh, various corporations uh, uh, doing this uh, meltdown in 2008. Uh, we see uh, ineff ineffective leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things, I had actually jotted down a couple of things, but one of the things that you know that you got a, a bad leader is uh, an individual that doesn't respect other people's opinion, an individual that uh, acts uh, immoral. Mm -hmm. uh, and we talk about ineffectiveness. You have certain goals and you have certain objectives at an organization. And if you're dealing with an individual that does not adhere to those those avenues in the best possible way, that person is ineffective. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, managers are very reluctant to deal with ineffective managers. You know, maybe because of the structure, or maybe because of a little favoritism, but sometimes they're unwilling to deal deal with that. And but but those are and uneth unethical leaderships can really sink a ship. Mm -hmm. And uh, when people are unethical. Uh, you see them acting one way mm -hmm. and acting uh, a different way. Anyone, you might say uh, to yourself, uh, can, can une unethical people uh, last for a long time? The answer is yes. Yeah. They, they, they can. They can, they can uh, and it takes organizations with courage. And actually from the grassroots uh, up, uh, it, it takes an effort to, to remove those individuals. But that's what I consider. We talk about bad leaders. There's a whole history has a whole list of bad leaders. Hitler, Adolf Hitler. Now, Adolf Hitler was very effective. He was a very effective leader, mm -hmm. but on the downside, he was a very, very unethical leader in, in, in terms of how he, he treated and, and treated other uh, uh, people that were different than himself. Uh, you have uh, Osama bin Laden mm -hmm. and, and some of the people that we never named uh, in, in America's history. Uh, Terry McVeigh, because he led, he led, he led an effort. Mm -hmm. uh, you had uh, individuals like that. Uh, on, on religious side, several several individuals that have taken people to their deaths on the on the cause of religion. So, so there's a case of, of good and bad leaders all around us, mm -hmm. and we have to be very careful of, of them. Would you consider yourself a good leader? Uh, well, I hope my wife would say so, mm -hmm. and I hope my family would say so. I say I think we should all strive to do the best we can, uh, treat people uh, as as best we can, and uh, lead with a sense of, of integrity. And I, th I think the case is when you look at your students, my mm -hmm. students, mm -hmm. they turn out like you, mm -hmm. uh, that, that shows me that, that maybe I'm doing something right. And really that's how you tell if, if a leader is being effective, that leader is being, being, being good. You look at the legacy mm -hmm. that, that that individual uh, leads on. I just recently uh, read an article that uh, Apple's uh, co-founder, mm -hmm. uh, Steve Jobs, is leaving mm -hmm. because of illness. But you look at the legacy that he has left with the iPod and iPad, uh, he's done, he's been uh, tremendous. Mm -hmm. And those are the ways you tell, tell the legacy of, of those, those outstanding leaders. So hopefully one day, when my, my students make millions and rule the world, <laughs> that they will remember Daryl Professor Green as being, being a being I, a, being I a will say leader. that you inspire and you challenge Appreciate your students. That. You do that. So that's very good leadership skills Check there. in the mail. Exactly. <laughs>